back again and we're going to go through the whole process of archiving an entry. Uh, from the previous Excel document I sent you, uh, you notice I was up to 62 of 3135. So I am here now at 63 and we're going to document whichever um, um, Mestizo comes along. So let's first look. All right, at image 63, we realize this is a Blanco, which is not what we're looking for. So I go to the next one. So 64, look and behold, is a Mestizo. And what I do is I scroll up and down on the side to make sure there is not a, a, a def uh, recorded. And I scroll to the top and I look at the name okay and they confirm that they're both the same so I go over here to line 21 which is my next entry and I type in the name Antonio Torres okay and we already seen that it was labeled as MSD so I already had those pre-filled over here because um, I knew they were all gonna be labeled MSD so the ones I'm looking for here in Guayama so this is from over here I could tell image 64 of 3135 so in Excel you could actually scroll this down and it will fill part of that for you so what I do is I fix it so this is 64 or you could type it in um, but scrolling it down like I did uh, is a lot easier and then date of birth okay I look over here event date the 11th of January of 1906 so I put in the date we use the American time so this is 01111906 and we don't have a death so we move to the next one so who are his parents okay first I look at Let's see if there's anything down here. We actually have a mother only, it seems like. So it says right here, Bibiana Torres. I'm pretty sure that's his mom, and we'll see in a moment. So uh, scroll down a little bit more. And it says que es hijo natural de la compareciente. So yeah, so it's Bibiana. Torres, B. Viana Torres, and then let's see what grandparents we have. It does. It looks like they're not going to list the father or the paternal grandparents. So, por línea materna, dice nieto por línea materna de what was that? Gregorio Torres y Victoria Velasquez. Okay, so let's type that. So those are the maternal grandparents. So I will put a M colon Gregorio Torres and sorry about that and Victoria Velasquez. And that's where I got directly from here, Victoria Velasquez. And this was Gregorio Torres. Now, if you have trouble um, deciphering what the name is, you could ask and we can help. It's, this is a project that we want to do it right. There's no rush. We want to do it right. So accuracy over speed. So we want to take our time. And if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. I will help you. Uh, you're helping me, so we're, we're, this is something we're trying to do for our community, and it will benefit all of us. So take your time and ask questions. Don't feel like you don't, you know, if, if you don't know what uh, the name is or what have you, maybe one of us can decipher it. And sometimes I get stuck too, so, and if we can't, decipher the name we just put indecipherable or we won't list the grandparent and that's okay uh, next I go up here to where the URL is 
and I just copy and paste that. So in, in Apple, the MacBooks, you have to press Control and C, I believe. And then you press Control V, and there you go. And now, how do I make it all nice? I like the other one. Hold on, because I, I, I have I wear glasses, so this is a little bit beyond my comfort. So I'm going to maximize this for a quick moment. All right. Oh, that was a long URL. So I'm going to have to spread this a little bit here. All right. And then just go, let's see, put a space and voila, it is now, and you could click on this and it'll take you straight to the page. Um, we want to, so there you go. I added my first entry with you guys. I'm going to do another one. So I minimize this, and, and I know this seems small. This is a MacBook that I'm using. I normally use two screens at work. I have uh, two large computers, and the computers at work are very fast. So that's why I use my uh, work computers. Um, but unfortunately, they block Gmail uh, at my job. So I have to save it, put it on a drive, and then come to my laptop. And then, yeah, it's, it becomes cumbersome sometimes. So let's do the next one. All right, so we got 64. We documented that. And if you notice, it's like every other image is a mestizo. So we go to 64, five now. Let me see if I clicked on it. 65, there we go. So 65, voila, another mestizo, awesome. So we go here and we start typing the name. What's the name? Let's see. I could get that. I want to see who the Domingo Pica y Pilot. Let's see if the name looks like what it shows. I always double check because sometimes they put in the wrong names. You got to understand some people who documented uh, uh, or these indexes sometimes were not Spanish speakers, so they were not aware of the language uh, and there are misspellings. So this is Domingo. Pica, Pica. I don't put the E. Uh, I take that out. So I just put Pilot. Makes it easier for going through um, the records. So this is number 65 of 3135. Remember how I showed you? Go here, you scroll down, and it does it for you. So if it's the next one, you don't even have to edit it. Okay. Then you look at birth date okay which is down here so January 21st of 1906 so 01 21 1906 all right so that's entered death do we see any death record I don't see any so we leave that blank some of them listed I only had two so far out of 22 that I found so this is um, 60, so two out of 60 listed their death um, record. So that's kind of rare, but you'll see it sometimes. Uh, no death, so then we go for the parents, all right? We'll go down here, move it over to see if we have their names. So father's name is Simeon Pica, and mother's name is Alejandrina Pilot, or Pillot. I double check it because sometimes I've found misspellings as I showed you earlier on the other video. So here we go. Guess hija. The, the registrant looks and oh right here we have legitimo. So they were born, they were married. So de la de su esposa Alejandrina. Uh, that that's correct. Pilot Natura de Guayama. And then we have the grandparents. So let's let me add the parents. So first, I, I put in the father. And no no offense to women is just um, that's just how the record is, and that's why. I, oops, what did I do? Semi, put an O. Oops, I'm trying to put the accent. The Apple. It's not easy. It's not easy to do that in Apple. It's not easy to do that in. Um, micro or using a PC. Oops. 
got to hold it down. There we go. So for Simeon, Pika, and Alejandrina Piot. That's the parents. Then I go to the next line and I put in, we got the paternal and looks like maternal. So I'll put the P for paternal and we start filling out. So what was it? Pilaje Natural de Guayama, the 24 años de edad. She was 24 years old. De su trabajo. So she worked domestically. And then, uh, the del declarante the, so was it linea nieta por linea paterna so grandchild from paternal line of what's that Amelia Pica so it doesn't list the grandfather it lists the grandmother so what was it Amelia uh, Pica, and then I put a semicolon, then I put an M with colon for the maternal. So natural de Guayama, soltera, y calle, y por materna, okay, maternal grandparents de Emilia Pillot. Soltera. So this is also doesn't list the grandfather, maternal grandfather. So it's Emilia Piot. And then I go copy the URL. That's another way of doing it on the MacBook. And then let's say control V. There we go. And remember, just put a space after so it lights up. There you go. And that's the second entry. So now we have 60 up to 65. I'll do one more. So this is 65, 66. Oops. Father, ooh, this is a little different. Color Blanca. Oh. So this is Blanca. We don't use that one. Let's get that. Oh, was that 67? That was 66. I skipped 65. Well, we did 65. 66 is Blanco. 67 is what we need. Mestiza. All right. So let's go down here. Make sure we got the correct name. Felicita Torres y Moreno. All right, let's look up here. Felicita Torres y Moreno. That's correct. So then we enter that. Felicita Torres. I don't put the E. It just makes my life easier. So that is a record 67. Oops, sorry. So I keep forgetting. Click here. Turn down, make my life easier. So this is 67, not 66. So I go in and I fix it, 67. And then we put the birth date. It is down here, February 21st of 1906. So February 02, 21, 19, oops, 1906. We don't have a death record, so let's look. I don't think there is one on the side, on the margin. Not there. All right. And then we look for the parents. And it says here, Fidel Torres and Juana Moreno. So let's look up here. Fidel Torres. So he was the one who uh, recorded or brought this forth to the court. And then Juana Moreno. So those are correct for the parents. So I put those names in. So Fidel Torres and Juana 
Moreno. Okay, grandparents. Do we have any? Yep, it looks like it. So Don Luisada en el declarante. Nieta por línea paterna. Okay. Granddaughter from a paternal line de Quen, Quentin or Quentinia. See, this one I'm going to have to zoom in. Quitenia. Quitenia. Q U I T E. Uh. Let's see. Quitenia Torres. All right. That is it a male or female? We will see. Torres Natural de Guayama y. Oh, so it's a female. Because it would, would have listed a uh, female after. So it looks like it's a female. All right, so I'm going to put paternal line. Put the P colon. Queen. Tenia. Yeah. Torres. And maternal line, let's see what we got. Y por materna de do demencio demencio moreno okay was desmencio it looks like d e see i tell you some of these i think it's d e m e n s i o so that's how i'm going to write it and sometimes it's just a it's a little hard to decipher. Demencio Moreno and Favina Favina Vicente. Favina Vicente. So let's write that one in. Oops. Favina Vicente. And remember, we get the URL also. Let me copy that. And I'm going to paste it over here. And I put a space at the end. So it will light up. And there we go. That took you through three different entries. All right. And I'm going to save this. File. Save. All right. So that's saved. And I'll make it available to you guys. All right. Uh, best of luck. If you have any questions, feel free to ask.